Good day, everyone! In preparation for Final Fantasy XV's crossover event, we'll be learning how to quickly and efficiently earn Mandeville Gold Saucer Points, or MGP for short. But before we begin, it's important to first unlock the challenge log, and to do so, simply speak to Itolwan in Limsa Laminsa and complete the quest Rising to the Challenge. And if you haven't yet, make sure to visit the well healed youth stationed in Olda to gain access to the Gold Saucer itself. If this is your first time in a saucer, there is no better place to start than the regular minigames, simple attractions such as the Tower Striker that are open to players at any given time. By participating and earning a handful of coins, we'll be rewarded with an additional 2500 from completing our first set of challenge log entries. And with our modest new fortune, we can now sign up for gates, simple fate-like events that occur every 20 minutes, starting on the hour. Simply participating and successfully completing a handful of them will earn us 13,000 MGP, in addition to any amount earned from the gates themselves. Up next, we'll be signing up for Lord of Verminion, but to do so, we must first speak to the lift operator to access the Chocobo Square. Lord of Verminion has its own intricate set of rules and strategies, however, the challenge log only requires us to participate in matches, not necessarily to win them. If you don't feel inclined to learn about the game, simply equip any three minions into your minion hotbar and participate in a handful of CPU challenges for an additional 27,000 MGP. If you have yet to unlock Triple Triad, you can do so by speaking to the Triad Master at the card square. And by using the Duty Finder, we can enter the battle hall to challenge NPC Wyra, who offers the easiest matches for the purposes of completing our challenge log entries. Build your best deck through the Gold Saucer menu, and try winning a handful of matches for an additional 18,500 MGP. You should also consider purchasing Noctis's card from the collaboration event to further improve your deck, or challenge other NPCs found throughout the game to obtain their cards. To complete the remaining entries in our challenge log, we'll be participating in one of the Gold Saucer signature attractions, Chocobo Racing. By simply participating in a number of matches and winning a few of them, it's possible to accumulate an additional 26,000 MGP from challenges. It's also important that we participate in the Fashion Report, a weekly display of glamour that matches a chosen theme. Simply participating earns you 10,000 MGP, with an additional 50,000 if you score 80 points or higher, a task easily accomplished by matching at least two pieces of equipment. The earnings from this event can be further boosted by MGP enhancing buffs such as the free company action jackpot or VIP tickets from squadron missions. Keep an eye out for reports from other players and communities to find out the most efficient ways of completing the fashion report every week. And finally, be sure to stop by the Mini Cactpot, a scratch and win mini game that can be played up to three times a day. Look for the lines with the lowest combination of numbers, 1, 2, and 3, for the grand prize. If not possible, look for the highest combination instead, 7, 8, and 9. We'll be wrapping up our weekly tour by visiting the Jumbo Cactpot, a lottery-type event where the lucky winners of 1 million MGP will be announced every Saturday. Be sure to participate in gates whenever possible and take a moment to familiarize yourself with their rules and strategies. With most of our challenge log entries done, it'll just be one final stretch to obtain the amount needed for the crossover event items. Alternatively, you can wait until the following Tuesday for the challenge log to reset, but keep in mind that the collaboration event ends on the 27th of May, so make sure to participate as early as possible. <laughs> 